Well, New York's politicians say their city is a sanctuary for illegal aliens, but the NYPD apparently has its own ideas. New York City police have reportedly been informing ICE, the federal immigration authorities, of the court dates of illegal immigrants charged with crimes, thereby giving ICE the information it needs to make arrests. Lori Zeno is co-founder and deputy director of Queens Law Associates. She recently described that policy as, quote, outrageous. Lori joins us tonight. Lori, thanks for coming on. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. So it's a pretty black and white story. David Gonzalez, he's an illegal alien. He's 51 years old. In 1999, he was convicted of sexual assault on a child and deported from this country. He snuck back in, mm -hmm. and last month he was busted on the number seven train, New York City subway, molesting a woman. The NYPD brought him in, then they called ICE so he could be deported again. He's here illegally, and you say that's outrageous. Tell me why. Okay, well, my opinion about it being outrageous is really based on the bigger picture as opposed to the individual client. Um, Mayor de Blasio has gone on television and told New Yorkers that New York is a sanctuary city. Okay. That immigrants, all New Yorkers are safe and that we essentially have your back. And then what happens is immigrants walk around and they think everything is safe and they're okay and you know nobody's going to turn them in to immigration right. and and then they get arrested and NYPD actually calls immigration from central booking and the the outrageousness is really twofold. Wait, wait, One, wait, wait can I stop there? I just want to make sure I have this straight. So you're sure. saying it's outrageous that Mayor Bla de Blasio doesn't quote have the back of a convicted illegal alien sex offender who molested someone else on the subway. Well, he should have his back? Well, I'm, like I said, it's not about an individual client. It's about the bigger picture. Because well, it's we're actually about an individual about case where there's a, this actually happened as a real person. This well, actually sure, that took actually place. happened. So, right. But and we're talking about outrageous. government. No, no, no. We're talking about government agencies. We're talking about New York City Police Department. We're talking about the New York City courts. We're talking about well, right. the mayor of New York City. You want to take it to an City. abstract level at 35,000 people. Let's bring it back down to subway level. This guy apparently tried to molest a woman on the okay. subway. He's here illegally. He's a convicted sex offender. This is a tough one to defend. I'll concede. But you're saying that Mayor de Blasio should have his back, shouldn't be mean to this guy because cause why? It's not about being mean. and, and about and, deporting him. And you know what? I'm not saying whether or not the mayor should have somebody's back or not. The oh, mayor I said what you it. Just said. Okay. No, the, I said the mayor said it. Oh, the mayor okay. came on television and said, New Yorkers, we're all safe. Don't worry. And in fact, they're not. When they come to court, so some they of the are sex not offenders safe. aren't safe in well, New York. It's not now, about so. whether it's a sex well, offender. Well, it's actually about a specific guy called David Gonzalez. Well, you he... want to make it about a specific well, guy. Well, I don't know. But I'm you, a public defender he, who, who handles 30,000 cases a, a year. I, I get it. Right. But this so it's is not a just about one case. person. Right. You want to make it about everybody. But I'm just saying, if you were on the subway and got molested by David Gonzalez, maybe you would ask, what's he doing in this country? I and might. how did he get back after being convicted of sexually assaulting a child? Well, I and might maybe ask you wouldn't all those feel things. like, oh, that's unwelcoming. And maybe that's, no, actually, I might ask all of those things. And if I'm an individual person, I get it. I get the individual person is saying, oh. okay, folks, listen. But you can't think about here, the individual but... because that makes it too complicated? No, 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 no. I can oh. absolutely think about the individual. Okay. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm losing I can track understand here. an individual. Individuals okay. point of view they're here they're illegal they're right. committing crime you're the police they're you're the courts why can't you make them right. leave yeah right make got them it leave. okay yeah, got and it. I get that you want to continue to say they're molesting children they're molesting children well, he actually did but molest this children. person That's is, not making maybe it up. this one person elect, uh, molested a child he was convicted of that but it's a bigger issue when you're talking about government right. you're talking about a okay. mayor you're talking about the court system you're talking about the police department and right. you're talking about a promise that we're a sanctuary city but and I in fact we're in fact the NYPD is calling the police or calling immigration and turning these people in. So based you're basically on, saying. Let me that, finish. Okay. Based on what's called an NCIC report. Okay. That's a report that gets attached to the end of a rap sheet. And what comes on that report says things like this person has some sort of immigration issue. This person's up for deportation. This person Molested may be wanted child. for a murder yeah. in Texas. This person was convicted of a, uh, this or that or the other thing. Right. And you're telling me we shouldn't take that into account because why? How about why do you answer this question, Lori? How does that serve the interests of people who are here legally, like well, here's American why citizens, we shouldn't like take me that. or you or our children? Okay. 
Okay, here's why we shouldn't take the NCIC report seriously, because it is based on a name check and a date of birth. It's not based on somebody's fingerprints. It's, well, okay. we think this guy you know might be this works, person. Lori, but nobody gets deported without an identity <laughs> verification. We're not okay. grabbing people off the street and sending them out of the country. All those checks are done before they're put on a plane back to wherever. So well, this is not, not a real argument you're no, making. No, that's and actually not true. you're over the tragedy that took place to an individual, not to society or government, because it's inconvenient to your argument. And no, that's actually not true. And my personal advice to you is you're never going to win anyone over until you can look the facts right in the face and respond to them. I can look the facts in the face about this particular client, like I said. However, yeah. when you were talking about a government okay. and governmental agency, and you're talking about uh, an entire city, right? I get it. You either the say, made say a what you promise, mean but and you mean what you say. It's outrageous. Okay. Well, Lori, sure. For How about if, if you tell people that okay. they're safe and then they come okay. to court and they're not? It's going to be a yeah, lot of you disappointed know child molesters. And you know what? Mean I'm what you say well and anyway. say what you mean. Lori, thanks, thanks for coming on tonight. That was amazing.